folks, we have to touch on a topic that we have not talked about in some time, that is student loans, more specifically, of course, student loan forgiveness. It's a hot mess right now. Biden is in turmoil because number one, there's a looming ruling that Biden's student loan forgiveness program might actually be illegal and massive problems facing millions of Americans right now in the country. We're going to be talking about it all in today's video. Let's get started and dive right in. But before we do, of course, make sure you guys do go ahead and smash a like button. I would appreciate that. If you appreciate the output and the content that we do for you every single week. And if you want to be notified every time we do upload a brand new video or go live on this channel, make sure that you are subscribed and have notifications turned on. We just did our last cash giveaway and the next cash giveaway will be at 30,000 subscribers. So let's get those numbers up. Make sure you have notifications turned on. Again, that will notify you every time we do post a brand new video. So with that being said, let's get started and dive right in. The fact is, is that President Biden's student loan forgiveness or cancellation program it's in limbo right now guys and millions of borrowers are left wondering how to proceed and there's massive uncertainty and now in a huge blow to president biden's agenda many experts are saying that the supreme court will actually rule president biden's program illegal here's the timeline of how this went so at the beginning of this month the supreme court said that it would hear oral arguments next year in february in regards to president biden's student loan forgiveness program and the administration actually called this move welcome but in the meantime as the program has been paused millions of americans have been on edge awaiting an official decision one political science professor said quote the court's conservatives have been very aggressive in striking down the decisions of congress and the president and he said i would not be surprised if the court invalidated this executive order that ruling would be in stark contrast to what the american people support and it certainly would not be the first unpopular decision by the supreme court as we have come to see in the last couple of years in fact according to a recent survey 51% support the Biden administration's student debt relief program compared to just 39% who oppose it. These legal troubles are not brand new. The hurdle started immediately after the Biden administration announced the program on August 24th. The administration had turned to the Supreme Court on November 18th to vacate the nationwide injunction put in place on November 14th by a federal appeals court, one temporarily barring President Joe Biden's student loan Debt relief program. A three judge panel of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit indicated within the November 14th ruling that the injunction will remain in effect until further order of this court or the Supreme Court of the United States. That court order comes on the heels of another blow to the program as a federal court declined to reverse a ruling blocking Biden's student debt relief program on November 30th. And according to the studentaid.gov website, it now reads, quote, courts have issued orders blocking our student debt relief program. As a result, at this time, we are not accepting applications. We are seeking to overturn those orders. So in a response, in turn to all those orders, the Biden administration wanted to provide some relief to the American people, especially as the midterm elections were right around the corner. So President Biden actually implemented another pause on student loan payments. The administration announced on November 22nd that the student loan pause, which was set to end on December 31st, 2022, will be extended to the end of June of 2023 while the administration awaits the Supreme Court's review of its student debt relief program. And despite all of this, the Biden administration still remains optimistic that it will prevail. In fact, according to the White House Press Secretary, Corrine Jean-Pierre, she said in a statement posted on the White House website, quote, we welcome the Supreme Court's decision to hear the case on our student debt relief plan for middle and working class borrowers this February. And now in another huge blunder, millions of borrowers who applied for the student debt relief program under the Biden admin were wrongfully notified that their loan applications were approved. The U.S. Department of Education contractor Accenture 
which sent the letters out, said that applicants were erroneously emailed about the approvals on November 22nd and 23rd. An Accenture spokesperson told the media, quote, Accenture Federal Services regrets the human error that led to an email being sent to a number of student loan debt relief applicants with an inaccurate subject line and working closely with the department, Accenture Federal Services is reviewing quality control measures to support accurate and timely communications to applicants in the student loan debt relief program. Obviously, then the finger was pointed to Biden and the White House, and they were the ones with egg on their face. This was just another gaffe in the midst of all of these recent roadblocks that the program has faced. And it is looking very likely, guys, that this program will be ruled as unlawful. Biden's own education secretary, Miguel Cardona, is looking at this with rose-colored glasses addressing the lawsuits that were recently put against the program. He said, quote, We believe strongly that the lawsuits are meritless and the Department of Justice has appealed on our behalf. So really interesting developments happening with this student debt relief program, guys. A lot of people are in shock. They're in disbelief. Again, millions of borrowers have been left out in the cold, having no idea how to proceed or what to do right now. I don't even think a lot of people are getting this news and they still believe that the debt relief program is totally valid and nothing's wrong. I think the administration and President Biden should be more communicative about what's going on. I think they should tell the American people that it is indeed on pause right now and don't just beat around the bush. Frankly, guys, we're giving you more of an update and more news than Biden is. I think it's disingenuous. Biden should be more transparent about what's occurring and this might leave a bad taste in people's mouths come 2024 and they might make a different decision than they did in the midterm elections now that they'll learn that they might not be getting this relief after all. We'll see if any more news breaks in the coming weeks but it looks like we'll have some more developments come February of next year as that is when the arguments will begin and we'll start to hear more for the Supreme Court so we'll definitely have more news for you guys. In the meantime let's make some predictions. What do you think is going to happen to the student debt relief program? Do you think it will be overturned and ruled unlawful? Or do you think it will move forward and they'll be able to discharge this relief for the American people? Let's make our predictions down below in the comment section. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you understood it and hopefully this clarified some things for you. Make sure you share it with a friend. Get the word out. Spread it on social media. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button. I'd appreciate that. If you want to make sure that you're notified and updated every time we post a brand new video, again, make sure that you are subscribed and have notifications turned on. If you want to get some free stocks, all me all free, use the links down below in the description. Sign up with the brokerage platforms or Robinhood and or Webull. You'll get some free stocks, some valued to thousands of dollars in some cases. So let us know what stocks you get. And if you want to connect me on social media, I am on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on TikTok. Use the social links down below. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care for now.